guys, welcome back to The Sim Twins. I'm Bree, and in this video, I am completing a speed build. So this, or speed build, shell build. So this shell was made by The Land of Bee. She is a streamer on Twitch, and she has really helped Brooke and I out a lot. She has a great community, and we're part of her Discord. And also a lot of people that were in her Discord actually came and joined our stream as well. And so we have a lot of fun and we're just really thankful to her. And she did this show build as a fun little thing for the community to do. And I decided that I wanted to try and tackle it because I cannot build shells to save the life of me. But I can sort of furnish them. And although I would say like this, this furnishing is like not, not the best, but... You know, it's pretty good, but I did this on stream the other night last week and we have been streaming for a little over a month now and we um, are affiliates now, so that's pretty great. But we've just been trying to build up our community on Twitch as well. We usually try to stream about three times a week. So if you want to watch us on Twitch, make sure you go to the link in the description below. And we also opened a Discord. So if you want to join our Discord, we talk about Sims. We talk about anime. We talk about K-pop. We talk about a lot of fun stuff there. We also have a music channel where we just talk about our favorite music and we have a bunch of fun stuff for our discord so if you want to join that that link is also in the description below we would love for you to come and join us to talk about everything so this shell build was actually quite big and the room she had in it obviously you can't change any of the outer walls or stuff but you can always add walls so she had like this weird awkward little corner so i just added a little wall to it to make it more square to make it a little bit easier to work with but then i had like kind of this random wall on an angle which you know it's fine i just use it kind of like for an accent and stuff but anyway so while i was doing this on stream i made up a story about who i would think lives here because honestly when i build houses i don't really like think about who's gonna live in them i just kind of like build them and then if the person fits if the sim if i just move into sim it doesn't like really matter to me if it fits but this one i actually made up a story and the story is that this person is a professor he works at brightchester university he's a single guy and he just lives with his cat and obviously this is kind of a big house but the story is he bought this house at a really good price because it was you know under um it was owned by the bank, so it was going for foreclosure. So he built, so he just bought it because he was like, you know what, I don't have a house, so I'm going to buy it. And this is actually in Brendleton Bay. And I haven't actually really played much with Brendleton Bay, but it is such a pretty world. So I decided that I would put this in Brendleton Bay, and his house is actually near Club Calico. So... If um, so he has like access to the port right there. He has access to Club Calico. It's all right there for him to do that and stuff. So... Yes, anyway, he bought this, and the thing is, this house was a renovated house, so at first it was a smaller house, but then the people who owned it before him actually added on to it, so a lot of the house is not in the same, like, decade period piece, a lot of them, it's kind of all random, because it was kind of all remodeled at different times, so you'll see sort of, like, different eras kind of thrown into the design, um, but I'm, honestly, I'm not too good at picking out okay like this was definitely this error design or this was that error design so you know if it's not correct you know <laughs> d d don't ask what error this is because i i'm not really sure i'm not a design expert whatsoever but anyway so he bought this house it was already remodeled that's why it looks a little different but another thing about him is he is an avid traveler he loves going to selva dorada so he brought back pieces from selva dorada he brought like a nice kitchen table you'll see a little bit later and he bought a nice end table and so he just kind of has like a bunch of like tchotchkes and in this corner i did find some pots that he had bought back from selva dorada and i just found this I found this like other plant that like had the sunflowers in it and I was like man this works perfectly in this pot so I kind of put it in there and did like a two for one little thing in there and then he also is a big art lover so I tried to add a bunch of art pieces in his house on the walls because I was feel that houses look weird when they're bare and they don't have anything on the walls but unfortunately when I tried to put the windows back in a little bit later it didn't work too much for um 
the placement of the paintings. So um, in the finished build, I don't have as many paintings on the walls because I didn't realize that I needed to place windows there <laughs> and that the pictures would, you know, kind of go, go through the windows. So that was kind of unfortunate. But anyway, um, I'm doing his entrance way right here. It's pretty simple, but I would say like he either found this table at like a yard cell or he found it in a Silver Dorado or something like that. And then he just kind of has like little fun little tchotchkes on there. And honestly, you know what they need? They need a jar for your keys. They just like need a little bowl that could be just to hold your keys because that is so real to life that you'll put your keys right beside your door they have the thing where you can have it hanging on the wall where you have the collars for your animals but i wanted it so that like actually you know even though there are no cars in the sims i wanted to have it so that you know they would have a bowl of keys so here i am just placing the doors so this is kind of like even though the space is really big it was also awkward at the same time so i did not really know how to play around with it so he has a really big half bath and then he has a really big master bedroom. And then he has a office slash guest bedroom. As you'll see a little bit later on. And Brooke was telling me, she was like, you know what? If, if I would have done this uh, show build, I would have added some more walls and cut up the space. And you know what? Great for her. But this is my this is my show build. And I am not very good at designing floor plans. So I just kind of kept it how it is. But I did like how my favorite part of the house, I think, is this kitchen and eat in um dining room area because I thought it was just really open concept and it seemed really nice and I just liked everything how I designed it um it's probably like the only part that I felt comfortable about the design and then I really loved the lights that I put in the house they're kind of these industrial looking lights and they actually came with fitness stuff so I did you'll see later on that I do put them in a lot of the other rooms um honestly the lighting was kind of the hardest for me because I was like why is it so dark in this house but then Later on, I realized, oh, wait, I have no windows in this house because, yeah, I've decided I was trying to do this thing because I was watching one of uh, I was watching one of Deligracy's builds and she said that she puts everything in her house first and then she puts her windows. So then she knows that she won't have anything weird in the way of her windows. And I tried to do that, but in the end, I still had weird things in front of my windows. So I had to <laughs> I had to reshuffle things around. But anyway, out of his kitchen, there is a back door leading out to another porch back here. And this way he can have direct access. Because if you're like actually looking in the game down below, you can see that there is um, a pathway to the water. And that's where there's like boats and stuff. So he lives like right on the bay. So he can like, I feel like he would have a boat and maybe, I know he has a cat. And cats don't like water, so he can't take his cat on the boat with him. But he just goes on the boat by himself. But anyway, that diving table was from the pack with Selva Dorada. And that's what I'm saying. Like, he found that when he went to Selva Dorada. He bought it and brought it home to his house because he thought it would be pretty. And I tried to, like, mix the woods quite a lot. Like, a lot of the flooring is pretty dark. But a lot of his furniture is more of a lighter type wood. And that's kind of the theme I was going for in this house was more like lighter tones in the wood to bring so it wouldn't be as dark because a lot of the other tones in the house are pretty dark but he also has like a, a blue front door so I don't really know how that matched at all I just kind of liked the blue door um so I chose that but yeah he has a cat and I'm thinking he might would want to like even adopt another cat I think that he does enjoy animals and that would be you know since he lives in Brindleton Bay it's kind of like the animal world anyway so he definitely would want to have another cat and of course I added him a bar into his house because even though you know he's a professor he would like to have a drink every once in a while just to decompress from work and stuff everybody needs that and so he teaches um botany so which is about the study of plants and so I try to put like a lot of plants in his house unfortunately I, I didn't put as many plants as I could have I could have made it like a really big over the top with all the plants but I did add quite a few I tried to make sure I added plants in most every room and then I did add these like uh, relics type thing and I thought they looked nice but then when I brought in the windows and I placed the windows on the wall I decided I didn't like them so they're not in the finished build but anyway I took out the part where I 
fix his half bath because it was really boring and there's really no reason to watch that but here's his master bath it's pretty boring it's just got a shower tub combo uh double it does have a double vanity though and obviously has a toilet and everything that you need to be a functioning person and in that bathroom i did like do a peachy color and i did different lights for the bathroom i did not the lights from I just I think they're just base game lights with the shades around them and uh yeah so like I said this is what I'm talking about when the house was renovated in different stages because the flooring for the bathroom is like not even from this, the same decade as the rest of the house the rest of the house looks really different compared to it so that's why I say you know the people who lived here before him changed it up and <laughs> maybe they didn't renovate the bathroom so you know he can renovate it if he has time but i did i had like one sink in there but then i decided i wanted to give him a double vanity so i go back in there and change it to a double vanity because even though he's a single guy it doesn't matter he obviously you know you need you need um double sink why not use one sink one night one sink the other night anything that'd be fun like that um but then for his bedroom like i said he also is really big into art so actually I liked that I had I chose his bed because I said you know he'll use a simple bed but I actually saw that the spread was kind of the bedspread was kind of like Vincent van Gogh inspired and I was like whoa that's so cool I've never actually seen that pattern yet and that's what I love about the sims like every time I go into the game I find something different I find something cool that I had never seen before and so I thought that was a lot of fun and um yeah i just thought that was like kind of fun and quirky it doesn't really match the rest of the house but you know his bedroom more has like a little bit of blue tones in it because his walls are blue and then his bed is also blue so you know we're going with the blue theme here we're going with the blue theme and like i said this house is kind of a mishmash of things um but yeah i think if i were to do this build over i would definitely maybe make this bedroom smaller because it is really big. But the reason why I didn't do that is because the way she, the way B had it laid out, she had like this awkward, like two rooms in the, and then they had a room in the middle, but it cut off to make like this r weird long hallway in one of the rooms. So, I mean, either I could have, you know, put another wall there to make it like another, like really skinny type of room. But then I was like, well, what do I put in that room? I mean, I guess I could have put a bathroom in there or something and made that the bathroom. But then I was just like, I was still lost at like, what in the world am I going to put here? What am I going to do here? <laughs> so yes, it was, it was a struggle. But I think if I did go back, I would probably make his room a little bit smaller. But then I put this rug in here and the rug kind of fit perfectly in the room shape. And I was like, well, you know what? Maybe this room deserves to be that big because the, that rug is that big. And see, I put some plants beside his dresser. So, you know, we got that going on. I didn't put too much clutter in this house because um, I feel like he is also, while he is a collector, he still would be like more of a minimalist type guy. So he doesn't have too much of anything. But obviously, I have to have an alarm clock because he is very much about getting up on time and making sure that he's on class at time and everything so he's definitely a nerd in all that regards and so then this is his uh guest bedroom slash office and i felt like he this this room is actually very minimal i did not do much styling in here and that's my fault i should have added more stuff but i think he was just like he kind of ran out of furniture when he was furnishing his house so he was like well what do i put in here i guess well i got a desk and that's about it <laughs> and he had another dresser and a mirror and so you know like anything like if a person wanted to stay in this room they would have it but other than that like it's it's nothing too fancy and obviously if in the future he needed to change it to be anything else like he needed it to be a nursery or something he could definitely change it around to be <laughs> whatever he wanted but also this guy since he's single like i'm thinking maybe he would like look for a relationship maybe i don't know but at the same time he might just enjoy being single and you know going out to travel and see the world so maybe that's his vibe too maybe he just wants to be alone but anyway i did do i think i like put the same exact no way i put a little bit different dresser in here but at the same time i did again use the same lighter tone woods for this room and this room hardly has any paintings in it i did drop the ball on that so if you want to add more paintings in here feel free to do it um but yeah i and then 
I added a rug and the rug is actually the rug that matches the rug that was in the kitchen. So I thought it would kind of be a nice tie-in to the kitchen area. So here I am, I'm putting in all the windows. And this is when I realized that this house is very awkwardly shaped. There was a, um, it's really hard about where I wanted to place the windows. I didn't even know where I wanted to place them, honestly. So I had to go back and do a lot of rearranging with the stuff on the inside. Because I thought like, you know, oh yeah, yeah. It'll totally be easier to place the windows last after I place everything else in the house. But then I didn't realize I placed a lot of stuff on the walls. And I should have looked where I, what I placed in the walls before I, <laughs> when I was placing the windows. Um, but yeah, enough of that. Here we are. We're moving on to the outside. So I made him have a little back deck area. It's not very big. Honestly, it's pretty boring. There's like literally nothing on this deck. I did put a um, a grill. But the whole thing with me... So this is my story about him and the grill. So the grill came with the house. But he does not... He's not a very big chef. He doesn't cook at all. So he has this grill that's like super nice. But he doesn't even use it whatsoever. So he just has it. And it's just kind of there. <laughs> it's just kind of there for him. And he might have barbecues but I don't know it's it's really like he just has it and he's never actually tried to use it and I feel like if he tried to use it he might would have to call the fire department because he might start a fire um but anyway here I'm just adding lights to the outside because every good house needs lights to see in the dark yeah the outside is seriously underwhelming I do I do apologize for anybody that is like a super good landscaper. I am not good whatsoever. I am very bad at landscaping. I will admit it and I will not be afraid to admit it because I am bad. I'm just very bad at it. Um, but yeah, I'm just like working on the front porch and stuff. And I do put a chair out on this front porch. I put a bench and then... Um, you don't see it, but in the, in the final build, I do have some um, plants out front to make it look a little bit nice. Um, so yeah, there's that. Uh, and then I did put this really cute little uh, cat hedge because I was like, oh my gosh, he loves cats. So I put a little cat hedge. But here I am. I, I did fence in his backyard. So if this like people, if he was to like have a dog, he would totally be able to have a place to put it because it has a fenced in yard so you could totally have a dog in the neighborhood and stuff like that and then also um since he's a botanist he really likes growing uh plants so i did give him some planter boxes and as well as a bee box because you know if you have planters you might as well have a bee box right there to you know pollinate your plants <laughs> pollinate your plants and do that and stuff like that and then also he has a clothesline which you can find in the debug menu it took me forever to find it but i did put a clothesline out here even though i do not have laundry day so it's just there for purely aesthetics it's purely there for aesthetics and also my terrain painting is skills are dismal dismal but <laughs> but fun but fun. Um, yeah, like, I mean, honestly, I was actually pretty proud of how this house turned out. And I thought I was going to take way, way longer to do this house. I did not think that this house would, you know, I was like, man, this house is going to be bad. It's going to look pretty bad. But actually, I was pretty excited by with how it turned out in the end. So anyway, I won't keep talking too much. I'll let you uh, look at the screenshots. But anyway, please like, comment, and subscribe. And of course, hit that notification bell to know when we release new videos. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!